out there? Marty here with GuitarJams.com. Want to let you know, if you sign my email list down there, you're going to get my free ebook, which has all the chord diagrams that you want to start with, plus the scales for soloing, um, and it'll supplement all these video lessons I get. So head and, go ahead and click down there, and I'll send that to you. Otherwise, I'm going to teach you a, a really popular song right now, so let's go for it. I'm going to show you the chords you need first, and then we're going to spend, you know, quite a bit of focus on the rhythm. So, there's only, I think there's only three parts. So the first part, we're going to play a G bar chord. And, you know, these are all in the ebook. So, we're going to bar the third fret, and then we form what looks like an E major shape. So we've got the G major bar chord. Then we have an A minor bar chord, and all you do is you scoot this chord up two frets, also known as a whole step, and you just take your middle finger off, and I even press it against my first finger for the bar. Those are the first, you know, that's, those are the chords of the chorus and the intro, and the little, um, what in reggae you call it the dance hall beat, which goes. So those are the two chords. Plus, um, you know, you know, most of the stuff going on there are those two chords. Then we need, you know, it goes into that verse with the other guy doing his little thing. And here's what you need for that. You need uh, an E minor bar chord with the root on the A string. That's what they're playing. So if we go to the seventh fret on the A string and we bar it, the root's on the A string, not the E string, the A string. And then we play what looks like an A minor shape with this bard. And if I scooted that all the way down to where it would be for A minor, you can see how bar chords work. If I pretended that I had to put my finger here to get the open strings, then I play, all, all, the only fingers I have left are for A minor right there. A minor, B minor, half step to C minor, because B to C is a half step, D minor, E minor. So we've got the seventh fret E minor bar chord, and then all you got to do is just take this whole shape and move it up this way to B major. And if you take your pinky off, you get what's called B7, and it's a little more flavorful of a chord, but either one's going to survive. Okay, so let's get into the rhythm. Here's basically what you want to be doing. So what you do is you keep that going, and if, if I form that G bar chord, but I don't press down. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So what I'm doing is I'm squeezing dun 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 or dun 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 squeeze 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 as this is going. tight your squeezes become, the more staccato or the more crisp those chords sound. And it, it, what I would recommend is you practicing along with the recording. Basically we're going to go... I'm just pressing to get that sound. And so we're going to go... One, two, three, four, one. Whole step to the A minor. Same chord, the bass moves up to the B note here on the seventh fret, but the A minor chord stays. Then we go to that E minor chord, and this is the verse, and we just do the same rhythm.
So I'm still on the dance hall beat. Dun, dun, dun. Try that. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze while this is going up and down. And on this A minor, we're swinging it, but we go. Keep them pressed down. That little reggae like bass line thing is really just the power chord. Um, you can go 7th fret of the A string, ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string, and you go da, 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 dun, dun. Then you can just, and that's for E minor, and then you do the same thing up here. The two parts, theory-wise, you've got a G major sounding part, and then you've also got an E minor sounding part, and those are the relative major, relative minor of each other. It's good to know that because sometimes if you've written a part, and let's say it's in G major, you can say, oh, well, I want to change the mood, but have it still be in the key. Oh, I could go to the relative minor, which is E minor, and write my verse with an E minor chord. So that's kind of something to think about there, as well as the fact that the E minor pentatonic and the G major pentatonic are the same set of notes. So you're going to be able to solo the whole time in that in that scale as well, which is in the E book as well. Just like that. So those are all the parts. Hope you had a good time. Uh, I I've, I've enjoyed this song for a while now. It's cool. So hopefully you can, you know, play it over the summer at some barbecues and, and, and uh, cookouts and stuff. And that's it. Hopefully you uh, sign below for the ebook, And uh, that's how I take my request too. So want to hear what you want to learn. This song right here was a request, uh, which is fun to do. So we'll see you around, all right?